Oh no, honey, he squanders your money? I have seen so many relationships break up over this where the man is trying to protect and provide in a way that over empowers himself and destroys uh, the relationship. See, the men are being, um, they're being tricked. They're being made to believe that if they get this huge truck, which is like a mortgage for a house, some of these trucks, um, and it'll cost them like 600 a month for payments, uh, that, that, that makes them a man, that that makes them powerful, and that makes them, you know, uh, now capable of more. But the thing is, the truck's so fancy that they can't actually use it for much. Maybe they can haul a few things here and there, but they won't put a plow on it. They won't, like, have it get beat up and carry all the goods for building that new porch. No, the, their truck takes over the life of the couple where they can't afford to share the mortgage anymore. Or if they can still afford their bills, they can't afford that vacation with you, right? They can't afford to go out and take you to a beautiful hotel anymore because it's 600 a month that they would have had for the relationship and the family for their idea of masculinity. Rather than getting a nice, good, strong, old truck they can bang up and use as a truck should be used. <laughs> They'll be tricked in so many other ways, too, like to buy a tool chest for like $3,000 with payments that gain interest and they've got to make payments for years on their tool chest, that they're not really a professional man unless they've got that tool chest, right? Instead of building themselves a nice chest, they, you know, that they can pass on to their kids because they built it from their own hands, right? The men are being tricked. The men are being shown these ideas of masculinity, masculinity and this, this the, the motorcycle thing that's never enough. I'm into the motorcycle thing, but why does it have to be bigger and fancier and heavier, you know? Like, why not be fun and light enough that you can move on that thing, you know? And, and old enough that you pass it down to your kids because you keep fixing it. <laughs> this is the thing. It's like, he's squandering the money because he thinks this is how to be a man. I mean, I know a man who spent, oh my God, it was $25,000 or was it 50000 all on tools in the basement for like the hard times coming ahead. And when his wife found out, she was so freaked out, she divorced him. You know, like this is the thing guys have to understand is they don't need it to look so slick to be a man. They need it to feel good with them and their woman. That's how you're a man is that the when you go out to buy groceries, you get the baby's milk before you get the beer <laughs> that you don't try to get ahead by gambling and going to the casino. Like these are tragic ways the men are being tricked because the men feel so un powerful, so unempowered, so so helpless really that they're they're going for looks, you know, the car they drive to, to immediately empower them, make the other men think he's together. They're not going for the essence of joy and their own health and their and, and their balance with their woman and the and the fun they can have with her. But listen, a man who does, this is the thing. He's going to get this after a while. A man who does start to support you, your relationship, you as a woman and, and make choices that are really about his own desire and his own freedom instead of what the world is going to look in and say is good or bad. When he starts to do that, he emanates a freedom that the other men desire and need. And they start to feel it in him with a deep, deep respect of like this man is showing the way to the path of freedom, balance, and love. And, um, you know, family joy. <laughs> So what I would say to you is if he's squandering the money like that, show him this video, you know, because talk to him about the way he's being duped, the, the interest he'll pay on that stuff, if he's heading in that direction. But what if he's already gone there and he's already done it and he believes there's no way out and that he's trapped forever with these, these bills that are going to ruin his credit if he ever lets them go, there are ways out. And sometimes they do involve bankruptcy or ruining your credit. But there's other ways, too. Of, but the main thing is just to get out of the psychology of... It's just like a woman being, you know, taken down the road of all the ads that are saying, you have to be skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. Or you have to be f bigger and more juicy. And, and, and you have to do, like, Botox and, and plastic surgery and, and put plastic inside your body. Like... 
all of us have to wake up that these ads, <laughs> these they're just trying to make money and sell us something. There's nobody behind them. It's like Oz, the Wizard of Oz. You pull the curtain, there's no one there. But our own beliefs and our own um, ridiculousness going down a rabbit hole to nowhere. <laughs> so let's all, <laughs> women, free ourselves of, of the things like, I want a designer bag instead of a beautiful bag. Like I go to Salvation Army to get all my bags because so many cool bags there for $3 instead of 30 instead of 100 instead of 300 I just want a nice bag and I get the best bags there you know like humility like at what point like my boyfriend wanted to give me get me a coat he's like I want to get you a really nice coat and he puts his his coat on me and I love his coat it's great but it's not the best coat for him anymore because it's outdated on a guy it looks kind of girly and on me it looked really great and he's like yeah but I want to buy you a new one I'm like no I don't need a new one this one's fine buy yourself a new one so that you know he can buy himself fancy things sometimes where it matters like the right boots or the right coat like for a man, it is helpful to look a certain way. We want to say, we don't want to go so extreme that we're saying, you know, be a hobo and, and, and don't show images of power. Have a nice watch. But those watch things, that whole watch thing about what watch you're wearing, it's so pathetic. One nice watch is enough. It doesn't have to be a really fancy one. Let's get in our, our, our integrity here about, you know, real, real, real things we need to do, like prepare for winter and the wood and um, prepare for a really good Thanksgiving feast and, and a really great vacation together where you see family or, or, you, or you enjoy the arts and you support those musicians. Okay, love, you got the picture. We're going to have to make uh, help the men understand that their value and their power is something much deeper, much more fluid, and give them permission to take more risks in terms of presentation and less risks financially so that that hard-earned money is actually really really going into the pot of gold you know it's it's expanding joy that what else are we making all this money for or all creating our lives for it's all about expanding joy right that's what we're trying to do and find more love and fulfillment together and creative expression oh it's happening we're starting okay